Hey there everybody, welcome to my new Let's Play. You guys have asked for it, I've wanted to do it forever, I waited for a while after the first one, so let's do it. Let's play Banjo-Tooie. Oh, I've wanted to play this game for so long, but I just haven't because, well, I've had so many other games wanting to go. And I wanted to space some time between Banjo 2 and Banjo Kazooie, but now that I, it's here, I can finally do it. If you haven't played Banjo Kazooie, go do it, because there's some stuff in Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie that playing Banjo Kazooie would really help you understand, like the beginning scene for a sec. So getting into the game, first we have the menu screen here. We got files one, two, and three. File 1 is a practice file right now, so I'm just going to practice on that. Uh, we have some extras over on the side. A uh, little N64 down there, honeycomb, a video player. That's all extra stuff, but uh, we'll do that later. Uh, like I was saying, play Banjo-Kazooie or watch me. Or if you don't want to and you just want to see this game, just go ahead and keep watching and, well... And keep watching. So, let's get into the game, and we'll start with the story. And I won't talk much through the story, but I'll narrate the narratable parts. And some parts that I think are pretty cool. Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was burned underground where she remains until buried underground where she remains until this very day. Burned underground.
Alright, so, we've been told the story of this game, Gruntilda's back, her sisters resurrected her with, well they got the boulder off her with a spell. This game is a lot darker than the last one, the bottles is dead, various insects are taking an interest in my corpse. What? So anyway, so now we have to go and find Gruntilda and stop her, and bottles says something different, if you hurry up and get the witch, can't you see I'm decaying down there? And then he doesn't really say anything different. So that's the story of this game. From Banjo's perspective. We'll learn about what Grundy has later. Uh, underneath this boulder there's a fish. Who um, I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. We actually can't get rid of this boulder now with our regular beak attack. So we'll learn a move later. So what I'm going to be doing this video is basically going around um, showing you all the different moves. As you can see, we have eggs and feathers still. We have all the moves we learned in the previous game. We have our flutter, we have um, our long jump, we can do the uh, attacks and everything, and I'll show those as we go around Spiral Mountain. Um, this is actually a post-recorded audio. So I recorded the video and then this is a re-recording of the audio because it got corrupted so I'm basically going to be watching myself play and just trying to match the audio as best I can but of course it probably won't. So stupid video recording. This is where we learned to attack in the last game. Instead of the claw swipe we now have this pecking attack and I actually like this a lot better because the claw swipe was kind of stupid but now with this we can just kind of wreck stuff. We have the beak attack in air, and that's the one on the ground again, right there. We learn to roll. Um, here's the gold feathers that we can use to make ourselves invulnerable to attack. And they can also break down these uh, these guys pretty quick. So there's that. Uh, honeycomb pieces, heal health, of course. At each bottle hill, because you can't go... See, look, basic attacks, egg firing, and the wonder wing. So because you can't visit the other places from Grunty's Lair in this game, all the moves that you learned in the last game can be learned on Spiral Mountain. So all the ones in Spiral Mountain, as well as, like I said, the ones. Uh, here we have eggs. Each thing of eggs gives you 20 eggs. So that's like considerably better. Like Every one egg you collect in the last game was one egg, but now each egg you collect is 20 eggs. So, which ability? So here we have the beak barge attack, which is this one here that we learned. Or this is the uh, beak buster. The beak barge is the one we learned before. Uh, hold Z and press A to kind of ram yourself forward. So let's keep going up and up. This is the spot where Gruntilda got kind of stuck for those two years under the boulder. We got some red feathers. We can fly, of course, and I'll be showing that a little bit later. Let's see what's at this next molehill here. Um, we can learn to climb, the shock jump, and the talon trot. I've been running with the talon trot already, I think. Actually, I don't think I have, but it's basically Z and C left, and you can run really fast. Uh, up here is the shock jump pad. 
So we can use that, and that's how Shock Jump works. Up here we have a Cheeto page, but we'll be going to visit Cheeto a little bit later. Missing pages, collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. So yeah. So moving on, we have the waterfall, and everything looks really wrecked here of course, because well, Gruntilda kind of mooshed up the place. Um, down there, you can't really see it from where the water was, but I'll turn around for a second and show you guys, after I kill this guy. Um, I'm just gonna go and see, you can actually reach that area over there from here right now, but uh, we'll come back here later. Uh, down there is a spot that we can't get to yet, I'll give you guys a close up. Um, we'll come back here and go through that, but for now, we can't even touch it. So moving on down, um, how you swim, well, I'll jump in the water again and show you guys in a sec. I could tell you now, but kind of ruins the commentary I had before in that spot, so it makes it worthless to show, but I can't really redo that, because I didn't want to redo all this video too. Uh, moving on, uh, here we can learn surface swimming and underwater swimming. They're pretty much the same thing, except surface swimming you just need to kind of move the control stick and press the A button. Uh, underwater swimming I'll show you down here. Press B to dive underwater. And then you can hold the B button to do these powerful Kazooie strokes, or you can just hold the A button to do Banjo's flutter kick. And you move a little bit slower that way, but it's easier for like precise swimming and stuff. So depends on really where you want to go with that. And I can't quite make it up here, but I can this time. Uh, over here is where we have the boots. Uh, we have the I don't even remember what these boots are called, but we have these boots. Um, they allow us to walk over uh, dangerous stuff, like in Banjo Kazooie, it allowed us to walk over the Piranha Swamp in Bubble Gloop Swamp, and the uh, sands where the uh, eels were in uh, Gobi Desert. And of course, here we have the shoes that make you run really fast. So, these shoes are useful for outrunning things, or say you're up against a timer, you just want to move from point A to point B really fast. And of course, I accidentally moved on to the boots a little too fast. Um, over here, we have one more molehill, which I didn't look at, which should teach you how to use the camera. But we are going to quickly go up to the top of Spiral Mountain here, because there's one last thing I need to show in terms of moves. Alright. Moving on up, we have the molehill and the flight pad, of course. With the flight pad, you can fly around. And there's also the beak attack. If you press B, it uses up one feather, but you get to go really far. And I don't think it existed in Banjo-Kazooie, but in Banjo-Tooie, you hold the button and you go further. And I didn't mean to actually land there, but I did. Alright, so climbing the ladder, and, well, there's another flight pad, but inside is what I actually want to go to, and that leads to Gretilda's old lair. Uh, up here is where you would have gone to go further on in the lair, well, up here was your very first Jiggy, I mean, just to the left of the portrait there was the path you went up, but then we have uh, Cheeto here. Inside the broken portrait there's some feathers. And here we have Cheeto, who is, well, Cheeto. If you give him five pages, he will, um, if you give him five pages, he'll teach you a cheat for the game, which is extremely handy. I'm not actually going to be showing the cheats in the first part of the game, because, well, it's cheating, it's wrong, but... Well, you know, I will be eventually. And I do like the music of it in here. And then, of course, World One and uh, the and uh, the uh, well, what's it called? 
the portrait for it were over there too. Alright, so getting back out, I think I showed pretty much everything there is to show in Spiral Mountain for now. Uh, we're going to be coming back here later, of course, because there's a bunch of things that I still need to show. But, well, you know, we'll get around to that when we get around to that. And this guy is giving me a little bit of trouble. But, that's okay. Alright, so over here we have the Digger Tunnel where we're going to follow the, the digger and I don't remember what I'm looking for over here but um, yeah uh, this game is really big it's really dark and well hopefully I won't lose any more audio because that's uh, that's a little bit annoying so anyway see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie where we are going to be following Klungo, seeing where he went, and, you know, saving the world. See you guys next time.